Okay, today's lead coding challenge question is uh, construct a binary search tree from pre-order traversal. Uh, we have a binary search tree and we have run pre-order traversal on top of that tree to obtain a sequence of node values. And uh, maybe maybe that uh, that's a serial, that serialization we have done. So now we need to reconstruct the binary tree and uh, return a reference to the root node. Uh, so basically, uh, looking at the, the example here, we have a binary search tree, 8, 5, 10, 1, 7, 12. So the property of a binary search tree is that uh, all the left descendants of a node, it's, uh, the value is going to be smaller than the node value. And all the right descendants value is going to be larger than the, no the node's value. And that applies to every node in the tree. Uh, for pre-order traversal, it's basically uh, we visit the node first, then we visit all the left descendants, and after that we go back to visit all the right descendants of the node, and that applies to recursively on the uh, traver uh, you know throughout the traversal. So I'll take example here. Uh, the, this is a binary search tree because for every node, uh, like an 8 here, uh, all the nodes descendants towards the left is going to be smaller than it, and all the values that's larger than 8, it's going to be uh, be part of the right cho uh, right uh, ch uh, children's here. Um, so that's a binary search tree, and the ordering here is a pre order traversal because it's a 8, a 5, 1, 7, so it's a finishing the rest of, uh, left part first and then uh, go to the right side, it's 10 and 12. So that's a pre-order traversal uh, ordering here. So uh, so oh, since that the, 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 uh, the, the solution to this question is pretty much gonna uh, based on the two, two, two concepts combined, right? Um, when you look at the, the sequence of values here, um, since it's a pre-order traversal, uh, if we process the nodes from left to right, uh, whenever we see a new node here, uh, 1 or 7 or 10, it's guaranteed that uh, the, uh, the parent's node has already been processed because the parents are uh, towards the left of that. Uh, so whenever we process a node, except the very first one, which is the root, um, we're going to try to figure out uh, to which of the node we have already processed, to which node we assign this node, this new node to be the either the left child or the right child of the uh, of the node that we have already processed. So that's based on the pre-order traversal uh, property. Uh, we're going to always handle the parents first before we do the children's. Then um, to, to also utilize the, the property of binary search tree, um, I guess when we, whenever we see a, a decline in value, um, since that uh, the second one is going to be a child towards the nodes from the left, and um, and in, in, and for the property of binary search tree, um, the smaller value are going to be the left children towards the lar larger value. So, in the case that we see something like a fight five one. The, the last node that we process has a value that's just larger than the current node, immediately next node. The next node is going to be a left child for, for that uh, previous node. And just to keep scanning through this uh, example here, whenever we see a node that's uh, larger than the previous node, uh, it has to be a right children to, to that node or to the parent uh, node of that node, uh, or even, even going back further. Uh, so to determine to uh, where which node we assign node seven to be a right children of, uh, is to is determined by uh, looking even further. So, um, I, so seven cannot be a parent for one because uh, if seven is a, 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 a seven cannot be a right child to one. Even though you satisfy that uh, seven is larger than one, so it's uh, natural that uh, it can be it, it it can possibly be a right child for one if the if we don't care about the parents. But uh, if that's the case, seven if we attach seven to the right side of one, then um, the seven is larger than the five here. So it violates that uh, the left uh, descendants are, are smaller than the node. So we go back and check, uh, uh, is 7 smaller than 8? 
if that's the case, then we can uh, safely attach seven towards uh, the right children of five. So basically, whenever we see a value that's larger than the previous node we have processed, uh, that suggests uh, uh, we should check uh, which parent node we should select from the previously processed node and just uh, attach that node as the right child to that node. It's determined by the, the value is kind of a sandwiched in between, uh, like the case 587 here. Uh, another special case for how to handling the right children is also uh, depicted in this picture example here. Uh, so w once we done with the left child, we pop all those nodes out, out of the stack. Uh, we, what we are left with is a, a stack with a one node here, eight. Then we encounter the value 10. Since eight has no parent node, uh, meaning that uh, it's the root node, pretty much the root node here, uh, then we find a larger value. Uh, it has to be a, a child towards uh, that node, uh, even though that uh, it doesn't have any kind of uh, parent anymore. Uh, but that's the only only place we can uh, plug this node onto. So that's pretty much the strategy. Uh, it's going to be a linear time scanning through the pre-order traversal orderings, and we're going to use a stack to keep track of the node that we have already processed. Um, for every new node, uh, we try to assign it to be either a left child or a right child of the correct parent node. So there, are, for for left child, it's easy. Once we see a, a, a immediately decline in the values, uh, we know where to assign it. Otherwise, for, uh, otherwise the value might go up. Then we have to, uh, you know, uh, pop out some processed node and go back to the rightful a parent location and uh, establish the right children connection. So that's pretty much the strategy. The uh, yeah, let's start code this. Uh, so initially, we we just uh, initialize some variables to hold the root node which we need to return, and we have a stack to keep track of nodes which initially is empty because we haven't processed anything yet. For the values in the pre-order traversal result, uh, we're going to construct a new node with that value. And then um, if, if we haven't uh, assigned, uh, handled the root node yet, uh, we should just um, uh, let the root be this particular node. Uh, and and the, for each iteration in this uh, for loop, we're gonna handle one node, and after we handle that, we should put push it back to the uh, push it onto the stack here. And uh, 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 if this uh, node is not the, the root node, then we have to assign it to um, to be a child of some node that we have already processed. Uh, the check for left charging is easy. Uh, if this current value is uh, smaller than the previous node that we have processed, which is on top of the stack, um, Skipping my hair, uh, skipping my thought. Uh, otherwise, uh, we will do an adjustment of the parent to find the place where we actually sandwich this uh, uh, higher value here. So after this, uh, we're basically uh, going from one to five, and uh, and and then the top of the stack. We also pop out to five, and we find that uh, the top current top eight is larger than seven. Uh, the five is the one that uh, we popped out. We establish a right uh, link to it, and we can safely discard uh, the rest. Uh, uh, you know any 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 of those three things here because we have already processed them entirely. 
Uh, so that's uh, pretty much uh, it. Um, Yeah, let's uh, try to run the story examples to see uh, there is a value comparison problem. Okay. Right, uh, it looks okay. So let's uh, try to submit it. Okay, so that's the uh, question for today. Um,